I am Kyle Mears and this is my Insta story. So this first picture is me representing Westings on the 19 in India versus Australia on the 19. It was a series between us, Sri Lanka and Australia and India, the host team. I can't remember exactly if we won the game or not because there were so many games, but it was a good tournament, um, good outing, a good experience to play cricket in India. So this next picture, this is my first West Indies A jersey. Um, this is my official West Indies number. This is where I got number 71 from. It was a home tour against Sri Lanka. Um, a T20 series I was selected to play after competing in, in the T20 competition, Caribbean T20. And I just finished the World Cup and I was selected to represent the West Indies A team. I can remember that yesterday there were a lot of superstars on that trip. Dwayne Smith was my captain at the time. There were guys like Sunil Narang making their first appearance for West Indies A as well. Kevin Cooper, Andre Russell, Lando Simmons. It was a, a real superstar side back then. So on to the next pick. Very funny pick, actually. This was my first CPL representing Barbados Tridents with Pakistan stars Shoaib Malik and Akmal. Both those guys from Pakistan representing Barbados Tridents for the first time. It's a very fun funny picture for me because looking back, I had a blonde mohawk. I guess it was fashion back then, but no, looking a bit weird. I have two, two memories of that CPL. One, a good one, and the next one bad. Um, I actually got the catch of the tournament in that CPL. And then in the semi-finals, I dropped a crucial catch. Uh, probably caused us the match. Uh, so it was a, a bit of sweet feeling for me, but it was a great experience, nevertheless. Next picture. This is my daughter, Nakaya Mears. My first child, I have two. I have a son, recently born. Uh, he's one year he's one year old and his name is Kajay Mears. But this picture is my daughter. Um, she actually born when I was representing Trinets in the la in the first CPL. Her grandmom sent me that picture and I, that was the first picture I ever posted on Instagram with her. So it is a very inspirational picture for me because at that time obviously I was young. No start in my career, and then up came my daughter. So then I had a lot more to play for. So pushed me to be where I am today. Um, I'm very thankful for her. She's very smart. She's seven years old right now. A lot of chat, um, and she's into cricket. She always watches the games. She's hard on me, you know. When I do well, she's very happy. So I'm very happy for both my children, and there's a reason I play. I play for them and I play for my family and friends. The next pick. This is me representing my primary school team in, in the final. Um, it's called the Ermond Griffith final in Bank Hall, where I grew up. This is me actually playing a, a back foot cut for four on my way to winning the championship for my side by the Hall. Um, and receiving my first Manny Match Award, it was a good stepping stone. And I will never forget this moment, a very special moment for me. I guess you can say this is me just passing some time. I fell in love with golf after playing with a few teammates a few years ago. It's similar to cricket, um, very relaxing, and you guys make it very interesting, you know, playing for drinks, even playing for money sometimes, you know. I think Shamar Brooks and Jason Holder, I think they're top golfers at the moment. I, I dropped off a bit. After my injury, I stopped playing as I used to play before. I play a lot of video games. I'm into PS4, play a lot of Call of Duty, FIFA, and basketball as well on video games. Next pick, this is me when it was probably like three or four and they decided to post it for throwback Thursdays. I thought it was a funny pick. 
people back then probably might say I, I dress sharp, but you now looking at it, it looks a bit weird. <laughs> Next pick, me and Shane Darch after winning the CPL. Um, I think it was in St. Kitts. My first CPL championship and only CPL championship with the Tridents. So it was a very wonderful feeling for me as a youngster and having played in the final two made it even more special for me. Next pick, this is me representing West Indies in the Under-19 World Cup in 2012 in Australia, receiving the Money Match Award against India. I thought it was a, a wonderful match between the two teams and a great achievement for us to be India, who are favorites for the World Cup. So this is a picture of the Super 50 Finals, Barbados versus Waywards. But this particular picture had a couple of guys that went to school with me at Alexandra School. So we decided to take a picture for the coach, um, Mr. Peter Vaughan. Very supportive coach. Um, always had me on the right track, on and off the field. So kudos to Mr. Vaughan for my development. This pick is me playing my first test match, getting my team to victory, scoring 200 runs, my first double in any cricket. It was a very special moment for me. Always dream of playing test cricket and also dream of scoring runs in my first test. For me to come out and play in it like that, I felt really, really good about it. I could bring my team to win the first test on the tour. The coaches really knew the hard work that I did, they really appreciate it. And they show that I challenge myself to do a lot. I want to be different. I know people will set goals to be the best player in the world or the number one batsman or the number one bowler. But for me, I place a lot of emphasis on winning games. I want to be the guy who wins the most games for my team. Just to be the guy to know, you know what, Cut is here. He can take us across the lane because he's done it already. I won't be known for that. So for me, that's what's next. That's trying to stay as positive as possible and, and trying to continue the good work that I started with.